Okay, 24th of April, and we're going to pack down this hive of three decker down to two. Canola's going nuts at the moment. Yes, it's April, self sown, and the bees are going nuts. But at the moment, we're going to try and pack this down three down to two. Now, that top one, there's a fair few bees, but it's kind of half full of, uh, of honey. So we'll take that off straight away. Yep. Maybe half, maybe less. And technically, I could have just um, left these guys as is because when I check the weight of this hive, there is a fair bit in there. Okay, there's a fair bit in there. Probably enough for winter, and I could just leave that. But uh, I want to do a final inspection and see how we go. The queen was up there, up the top at some stage and uh, she likes lying up there but we'll have a look as to what else is happening. You'll find most of the honey will be in this box and that one over there as you can see plenty of bees. Um, so what we might want to do is replace possibly some of these frames that might not be so crash hot with the frames from uh, that top box. So let's have a look what they've actually done. Let's have a look how much brood there is in the bottom box. They're putting in honey. See how calm they are, they're on a flow. And uh, yeah, really nice bees, really nice bees. As you can see, a bit of honey, a bit of pollen on this frame. I want to make sure that I don't take away all their pollen. Make sure we have enough. And possibly replace some duds down the bottom with a bit of honey to give them more insulation on the sides and that's about it. So we'll just lean that against the hive just in case the queen is there, I doubt it. Okay. Okay, so we've got a nice frame of brood. They're putting on brood here in the bottom box, which is great for winter. So definitely this frame is a keeper. If I shook that you can see the brood down here. So definitely a keeper. That side frame will have honey in it because that's the insulation. I'll take it out just to show you. Okay, not that much honey in the side. Right, a little bit. So what I can do is actually harvest this keep that out and put a full frame of honey on the side instead of having a patchy one. I can pull that out from the top box and uh, go, go from there because really there's not much, nothing of value here apart from honey but it's only half a frame. So I think we'd be better advised to put a full frame of honey in there. So let's have a look what we've got here. This is the top box. Now let's have a look what we've got. Sorry guys. Yeah, just empty. That was actually really empty. Dud of a frame. So we'll just shake that one. We don't need that. We can put that on the side. We're looking for a good frame of honey. There's nothing in there. So we'll shake those bees later. Make sure we've got the angle right with the camera. This one's a little bit better. Yeah, this is all new canola honey that they're putting on. So they'll bring in some honey over the next week. Now this one's a heavy, nice heavy frame, right? So you're better off putting that down. I know it's old, but this one's kind of pretty heavy. So what we're gonna do is put that fella down and replace the other one on the outside because that can finish it off. OK, 
Okay, there's not much happening there. So we'll put these guys back here. And this will be our foundational edge frame that will live on this side. Okay, that's solid so we don't have to move that. We did say that this was nice frame of brood. Yes, so we don't want to cool them off. It's 25 degrees today, so I can work these bees really nicely. They're, yeah, they're just some of my best bees here. This one's another frame of brood. Bit of pollen, chockers full of brood, as you can see. If I shake that off, you might be able to see a little bit more. Yep, as you can see, plenty of brood. Maybe I should look for the queen. Oh, she's likely to be on this one because brood is hatching. But I shook them off, so let's have a quick look for the queen. And up there, well, this one is a keeper. This one's a keeper. It's always also good to keep the frames one next to each other to adjust for the size. Look at that. So they're putting honey on in this bottom frame. Now, if we pack them down, they won't be putting any in the top. They'll put it right down the bottom. They're packing a lot of that in around the brood, which is fabulous. Quick squirt for a queen. I really don't care if I find her or not. The reality is they're quiet. I've got brood, I've got eggs. And if you can see closer in here, They've got young grubs down the bottom. Wet brood down the bottom. So that's another one. And really what I'm going to do is leave that middle box intact. So there's pollen here. Nice pollen frame. Yeah, a bit of pollen on that side. Not too much brood. They're putting some honey on. You can see it glistening. Uh, possibly could pull this one out. We'll just see. Let's see what's on this side. Yeah, putting on honey. Not much brood. So they've limited their brood laying to those few frames and probably in the box above. They'll be brood above. Great bees. So I could actually yeah, this fair bit of pollen could harvest one of these frames. We'll see what's on the edge. So we've got three frames of pollen down the bottom. This one's got a fair bit of honey. It's got a bit of pollen. It's really an old frame, isn't it? As you can see, a lot of brood has hatched. They're not 100% happy, but they're not bad. So this one, yeah, touch and go. Should I keep that frame in there? Or can I replace that frame with a nice one from the, the top? They're humming in here, so I suspect the queen's not here, but in this box. These guys aren't humming. So these guys, feels like that the queen is in that box here. So we'll see what else we've got here. Much there. Yeah, it's a nice frame of honey. I just got stung somewhere. There we go, there's a little sting. So, the way to do that is just flick it out. That's a nice frame of honey. Oh, it's a bit more central than the other one. A bit more healthier. So we'll probably swap it. So what we do with that, as you can see, you I just shake it in. As you can see, a bit of honey. A bit of nectar on that one. Not as good a frame. So what I'm going to do, 
is pull this in on the end. Nice healthy frame of sunny for insulation. There's some pollen on this frame. Yeah, not we've got two frames of pollen there, so I just what we might do is uh, whack a nice frame, a healthy frame where they can raise brood next year in um, in this top box. So let's see if we've got a nice clean frame. This is free comb, so we won't touch that. I'll, if we put that in, guys, she'll pump it full of drones. Right, that's what she's going to lay in there, so we're not going to do that. This is probably an old frame full of honey, so we won't do that. We are looking for a nice frame. Yeah, this is a free frame, so we're not going to put that in there. Just squashed another bee. Sorry, girl. We'll see how good this comb is. Yeah, kind of oldish comb. I like this last frame. This one here. There isn't much honey. They're putting it on though. So what I'm going to do is give them a bit of space to actually pack it in. I've got insulation on the edge. I'll be working the canola for the next week. And let them put that in but it's a nice clean frame for next year so let's put this box back up and first thing one thing to note is a bit of smoke from underneath so you're not squashing a lump of bees but we can have a look at that here Put it on the edge. Let's have a look. As you can see no bees up there. It's just bees all through there. So we'll put that back on. No excluder, no excluders. I don't care after Christmas. So we're going to slide this very nicely. So we minimise the damage to the bees. Yes, occasionally I get one. So this box should be a really nice box of honey and bees but um, and we'll probably shake all these bees out but we've got the bottom box done so um, yeah let's have a look at what we've got burr comb yeah this frame here looks like a good one to pull out not much burr comb okay very slowly first frame look at that look at the brood Look at that brood in that middle box. Plenty of bees, plenty of honey coming in. And that's what you would expect to find a queen. Probably in a frame like this. And I'll have a good look at it because I reckon she could be around here somewhere. Lovely brood for autumn. The canola will get them breeding as well. Um, they don't mind this temperature too much if it was much colder they wouldn't be happy so there's bees hatching you can see one hatching right there little bee trying to get out but this is yeah another one hatches a few bees hatching not sure about the queen here whoops hopefully I'm not squishing there we go Yeah, the worst time of the year to lose a queen is in autumn. Might be not enough drones and everything to make another one. We we'll need to pull one out. Let's have a look what they've got here. Now that will be honey on the end. That's for sure. This is a heavy box. So that one that we just had a look at probably was one that I replaced. And this one's, look at that brood on this. So this is a queen going from year one, probably in its second year. And the brood here is phenomenal. It's a beautiful brood pattern. And this is chockers full of brood. So that's two frames. But that's got honey as well. Once again, brood, half honey, half brood 
it's got a bit more weight oh dear in a nice way it's fantastic fantastic so beautiful box and I expect to have a bit more honey. yeah this one's a bit more heavier again yeah that's mostly honey mostly honey mostly honey on that one and I suspect that's what the case will be for the rest because I probably didn't harvest this side of that middle box in times past just want to break that burr comb beautiful okay so what we're going to see here is pretty much honey all the way up and down that's fully covered capped so the rest will be honey I'm pretty certain so we've got two really two to three really good frames of brood three probably and then the rest is half brood and full frames of honey towards the end yeah I can tell that there'll be a bit of brood in this maybe that's that's all honey and that's all honey there'll be a lot of bees coming out because still a fair bit of brood breeding so we'll knock it down this was three and a half it'll go down to two so I'm not going to pursue I'm not going to worry about the end frame because I suspect I can see it's got honey in there but hey just to show you I'm pretty sure yeah you can see it's really heavy really heavy capped full of honey on both sides so this hive will be going with probably all up at least eight frames of honey into winter plus what they're going to pull in over the next week or two that should be good okay now these guys are so relaxed love these bees okay we'll see what we do this one has got a bit of honey so we're going to stick one more frame in there and that was that frame of brood that we had in here so it's this frame here that goes back so when you get a lot of bees you just got to try and find a space to put your finger on don't squash the bees but as you can see I'm not really interested I've got hands with plenty of propolis on it as long as I don't squash the bee, I won't get stung from a good good like this one. Good lot. So here she goes. Very slowly. And once uh, that wider part of the front comes in, I push it down very slowly. Very slowly. <sighs> Nearly there. And I'm gonna, gonna shake these bees in. Just don't want any, don't want any squashings. Okay. Down. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So we've got two boxes. We've got overall one, two, three. These three are full of honey. These two are halves. That's four. Let's say five, five and a half frames of honey at the. Oh no, six. Sorry, one, two, three. These are full. So you've got four frames of full honey. This one's half. It's four and a half. And let's say these two will be another half. So at least five. Five and a half frames of honey at the top. We've at least got two, three frames down the bottom. So all up about eight frames of honey. And a nice cuddly space. Well, tight space. So what we're going to do with these guys. That's honey. I might use that in one of my other light swarms. Okay. This, there's nothing in there. It's a dud. And what we're doing is we're going to shake them in. Now you can shake them in at the top. Okay, so that's a full frame of honey I'll harvest. And I might have to use it in one of my other hives who might be a little bit short doubt it but hey 
can just put it on the side here this is another one there won't be much here so this was like a dud frame that we left out if we left these frames if we had three boxes down the bottom what you'll find is a bit of fungus in late winter early spring as the bees move up the hive so that's the whole idea of packing down minimize the fungus make them really nice and tight so they enjoy the warmth and these guys will be nice two boxes of bees I put in a whole lot of honey here but sorry girls you'll have to find another spot to put it in but as you can see this is what they bought in in the last week so yeah a little bit of pollen little bits of pieces so look at that look at that nectar dripping can you see it dripping dripping which means it's a good thing they're kind of a little bit unhappy with me now just a little bit nice frame of pollen and honey last frame the other thing you can do other thing to do is you can shake them in front that's what I often do and I'll just rush inside bit of nectar bit of honey and now she's back down there we go they're coming in now plenty of bees up the top two boxes full of bees they'll winter really nicely I like wintering them on two or one and a half singles well not crazy about that big colonies should be wintered on two and uh, once spring comes canola comes out these guys will have plenty of room to expand without worrying about swarming too early in the season As you can see what they're doing now they're licking up all the uh, nectar that I've sprayed up they waste nothing to keep things clean after I mess it up but as you can see really docile bees um, yeah great to work with but all the other thing you can do because this is light if you've got a light mat and soft watch this just few because of the wind okay a bit of smoke watch what happens they didn't like that but hey so I'm going to wriggle that around Hopefully most of the bees will escape. There's a bit of burr comb on top, so there are a few little gaps. Now, as you can see, plenty of bees up the front. Just telling everybody else to get in. They'll winter well on this box. And now we might just shake these guys out. But Bob's your uncle now, so we've got a hive that's packed down. And uh, we've got a few resources. We could even harvest that honey. We can put it in another uh, hive that is not doing so well, hasn't got enough stores at this stage but these girls are going to top this up so when I lift this uh, hive from behind they've got a fair bit of weight in it fair bit of honey fair bit of weight and that should be right all right enjoy over now